In this video, I'm going to show you how to save config in Palo Alto and use that config at a later time to reload again into your Palo Alto so you can go back to that configuration. To do that, go to device and go to setups and go to operations and we are going to look at these two features save and load and i'm going to explain to you import and export also so this is similar like in a vm environment if you are making some changes say like a critical change to your vm machine you normally take a snapshot before the change because anything can go wrong when you make changes and you need to have a plan to roll back to your known good config that's what when you file for a change management they will ask do you have a plan to go back to your known config so you have a plan here in a palo alto similar to vm environment you can take a snapshot before you make the change that is saving the config always in a palo alto make sure there are no commits before you take the snapshot and i'm going to click on save named configuration normally you name the config by date and time i'm going to say 02 17 2024 there's already one i'm going to say 6 pm config save it so now this configuration has been saved and now you can go and make your changes and if something goes wrong go back to here load named config snapshot and click on this drop down list and this is the config 217 2024 6 pm and i haven't done any decryption or anything so i'm going to keep it as it is i'm going to click ok configuration is being loaded please check the task manager for its status you should reload the page when the task is complete so go back to your task here this will tell load complete once you're done with the load you need to commit the configuration then only it will go into your running config now the commit has been completed successfully let's move on to look at how to use import and export you also can export this configuration say for example if you want to export this one click ok it will be exported to your download folder save now it is in your download folder the good thing about this one is if you have a failed palo alto and if you can replace with the same model you basically can reload this config into that same palo alto and you are back to operations using this configuration from that palo alto what you can do is you can import this named config browse and it is in the download folder you see this is the config double click on it and click ok so there's an error here you see it doesn't have the xml extension because palo alto uses xml you need to have an xml extension to import that config into the palo alto so let's go back to our folder here downloads and i'm going to rename it so i'm going to say xml rename close i'm going to go back to import browse xml double click on it you see now it has been uploaded properly so this is how you use these features in the palo alto is very useful if you are making some changes and those changes didn't work out you can easily go back to your known good configuration 
Hope this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification.